Okay, I'm gonna go over the, um, the tuning of this machine. First off, I'm gonna go over, the first thing I do when I actually set these machines up and tune them is check the impact um, of the, of the uh, cam to the flat spring. What I mean by that is when I drop the armature bar down and rotate this cam around, I'm looking for where it comes in contact with the spring and the downward stroke. I made a little drawing here to better understand this. This basically right here is going to be the motor shaft hole. And so and this is the outer part of the cam. And you'll see that's about the one o'clock position. And I, I put that in the care sheet. So, so this is what I mean by that. With this machine, it's about there. I think it could have a little bit more. Um, but uh, that's, that's pretty good right there. Okay. Um, if you have a lot of impact on, on here, then you'll need to shorten the stroke down. If you, have, um, if you have just a little bit of impact on there, you will have a longer stroke. But uh, at the one o'clock position, that's the default setting. Just like when it rotates around, it, it has a nice, um, nice gentle tug, but it's a definite tug. Uh, next, we're gonna go over the, um, the spring tension. And there's a different spring in here, and it's a compression spring. This one right now has uh, it has a good amount of tension on it. You need enough tension that you can obviously tell that it's gonna the needle will retract quick enough. Um, right now, I don't know if you can see the the screw is barely poking out of the cover plate. It's actually just level with this little washer that's right next to to it. There's a, a little brass washer right next to the set screw and that for that screw is what holds this cover plate down. I actually like it backed out about double the thickness of the little washer um, that's right next to that set screw and that's one millimeter at that point. One millimeter seems to be the magic amount of tension for this machine. If the tension is greater then the machine will hit softer. If you back it out with less tension, it'll hit harder, but you want adequate enough tension on there to get the machine to function properly. So let's just see how this runs so far. I like to tune at 5.5 volts. You can hear it's kind of choppy right now, but um, I should first, because I have a decent tension on there, I just adjusted the stroke. And I got it to where the stroke is, I mean, it's, um, it has a good, a good impact. You can hear it, it sounds crisp. I can turn it down to about five volts and it still sounds like, like a tattoo machine should. Turn it up and it sounds good. Okay. I'll ex explain the, um, the spring tension a little bit more um, after I describe the stroke. As you can see, when it was choppy, I just adjusted the stroke. I shortened it, and uh, that took out the choppiness. Basically, this little knob on the back right here, you can see there's a little knob, and turning that counterclockwise is going to shorten the stroke, make the machine hit a little softer. Shortening it is going to make it hit harder. So you can hear it right now. I'm going to back it out and it hits softer and it hits harder when I, when I turned it down. The average tattoo range with these machines I found is between 5.6 and 7 volts. That's, that's where I like to keep them at. Now, if you want it to hit softer, you can get a really nice black and gray machine, but you hear just standard default setting, it's already starting to hear that little stutter when I gently push up on the nipple. To accommodate for that, I'll add a little bit more impact. Just a little bit more impact, and now I can actually push on the machine and it'll, it has a nice give to it, but it also the little crispness, so it acts like a more like a coil machine. Also, if it's stuttering, you can just Take a little bit of the tension off. 
but the tension was already pretty good so I'd, I just assume you know you can just you can shorten the stroke back up just a little bit more to find that perfect medium if I want to hit harder I want to make sure that I don't have too much impact on there right now I don't know if you can see I had the armature bar pushed down and it's it's probably at like more like the 1230 position is if what I would describe that to be it's a pretty it's not as easy to rotate that cam all the way around with it if you do try to lengthen the, the throw it's gonna get really choppy really quick I'm just gonna back that impact screw out just a little bit and that sounds good make it hit really hard make it hit really soft now for like you really want the machine to hit hard and it sounds choppy at, on the lower volts like six volts giving it more speed and it's, it smooths it out you know, the only problem with that is your machine may start to spit once the stroke gets too long the machine will spit the other issue um, if you want it to uh, have a longer throw but not hit as hard I'm going to back that out and I just adjusted my spring tension as long as you don't go past the little washer that's right next to that set screw then you're fine so you can I'll just put it right there at the max setting for the spring tension I prefer not to go that much but um, you can do that without overstressing the spring now I adjusted the stroke just a little bit and that's about the, the hardest um, the longest that throw can be also if you want to get even longer when the stroke says its longest setting I released some of the uh, tension let's see here there's just very little impact on on the cam to the flat spring and you can also see when I do that when it's perfect the armature bar should almost sit perfectly level and this right now it's it's just a little bit below level so it stutters right now and then I just lengthen the throw by turning clockwise on the stroke knob turn it up you may just want to adjust that just a little you can get a pretty massive throw doing it that way okay um, the next part of this is going to be um, with the version 2.5 I have a little locking screw on the side right here and there's actually locking screws for all the different adjustments perpendicular to all those adjustment screws there's locking screws but on the back of the on the 2.5 model I have a little nylon screw some of them have a brass screw uh, you can use either one it's a 256 uh, screw just in case you lose it that's an imperial size uh, once you find the right stroke setting for you with these I prefer to take an 832 nut and put it on the bottom and lock it down make sure you're holding on to the knob so it doesn't twist when you do that now when you do that you may have to readjust your spring tension again and just do a fine tweaking with the other two elements To get it to get it back where you want it but at least you can get really close in the ballpark with your stroke knob first then lock it in place and from there when you want to make minor changes you can adjust the spring tension or you can adjust your impact screw to get it where you want um, thanks for watching I hope that makes sense if it doesn't please uh, ask you know any questions and I'll try to reiterate in a new video thank you Okay, now I'm going to go over the um, Sidewinder version 3. You can refer to the version 2.5 as far as most of the needle setup and everything. Uh, just real important, you have a good strong nipple. Uh, you might want to experiment and um, ask around. I like the ones from Icon. 
I also like to put a decent bend on the needle. It seems to get better ink flow and keep the needle in place and keep it from flopping around. With the version 3, I just really fell in love with these extra thick rubber bands. Um, I got these from Kingpin, but you can, I think pretty much every, you know, Lucky's and everybody else, uh, I think carries them. And instead of having to loop this on to all the little knobs and stuff, you just put it around this, make sure it goes underneath this little cam guard there and over these two forward knobs. And that's that. You wanna make sure that your rubber band at the is perpendicular to the needle. If it's up, it's gonna hit a little harder. If you pull it down, the machine's gonna hit a little softer because it affects the spring tension. If you don't have enough tension with your rubber bands, you can always just move them back and loop them on to the rear nut. But this way seems to work pretty good for me. I just noticed that it's a little bit more floppier, especially with mags, if you don't bend the, the mag enough. Okay, right now I'm gonna tune this. I like to tune the machines at 5.5 volts. Let's just double check this. First what I do is I'm gonna check the impact of the machine. The impact, like I described with the version 2.5, um, this right here is a picture of the cam, basically, so you can see where the armature bar is pushed down. This would be the armature bar, and here's your flat spring going down. And the position of this cam, when you rotate it to touch the spring, should be about the one o'clock position. And I can see I'm about there with it. I have decent enough impact. It's just a gentle tug on that flat spring to make a complete rotation. Next, I wanna check that I have decent uh, return spring tension, which is a return spring on the bottom of this cover plate right here. It should protrude at least one millimeter out. One millimeter is about the ideal distance for this um, set screw to protrude out of that bottom plate. And that's about twice the thickness of the little brass washer or maybe a little black washer that you have um, right next to it. The furthest you want that thing to go in will be level with the, with the little washer right next to the set screw. So I have adequate tension on there. And this one feels a little bit tougher than normal and that's gonna make the machine hit a little softer. If, the, um, if you have a lot of tension on there, the machine will hit softer. If you back out the tension, it'll hit harder. Right now it's at 5.6 volts. Because I felt like it had a little bit more tension than necessary. Well, I backed it out and it's kind of mushy, but you can get that to get your impact. But if it seems inconsistent, then you um, go on to the stroke adjustment. So when I adjust the stroke just a little bit, it's a little choppy. So I'm just gonna kind of balance it out with the spring tension there. Let's just check this stroke. This knob on the back is what controls the stroke. You can see there's a little flat spring that touches the knob. And um, basically when it comes up, the ideal length for the stroke should be really close to where it's riding that cam the whole way up. But if it's riding it too hard, then it's, your machine might spit a little bit. The longer your stroke gets past where it's not, when the armature bar comes up, if it's not touching the stroke knob itself and you actually have to push it up harder and, and bend this spring to get it to touch, your machine's probably gonna run pretty choppy and it's gonna spit. If I want it to hit softer, I would turn that knob up. But you can see it doesn't have enough um, tension now, or it doesn't have enough impact. So I'm just gonna adjust it, that impact just a little bit. And so now I, I shorten the stroke to make it hit softer, but also add a little bit more impact so it doesn't stutter. You can see now it stutters. No, it doesn't. It's kind of a balance between all three of these um, adjustments that makes it what it is. Also, when you get up to higher volts, it's not as critical. Like, I like to set them up at 5.5 volts, but really for lining, which most people want these for, I'm lining between 6 and 6.3 to 7, 7.2. I want it to hit harder, I can 
turn that stroke knob softer I can back it out. There's locking screws on the backs of these machines. Um, you got one for the impact, you got one for the spring right there, then you got one for the stroke knob. I like to keep this one just snug just so I can still adjust the stroke. This one is a little different than the version 2.5 and just the fact that the stroke knob stays more secure because there's more meat right here and then you can lock it in place with an, uh, a set screw with a nylon ball in it so you can still adjust it while tattooing. So in between tattoos sometimes I'll just, I can just turn that knob a little bit and I'll use, some, you know, use a paper towel or something and adjust it in between, during the tattoos if, um, if it's not hitting the way I want for that certain skin. Now if you back the machine out and it gets really choppy like that, you can back off your impact screw. Let's see where that's at when I, when I push this down. Just a real light tug, but you'll get a lot longer throw out of the machine by doing that. Um, you can refer back to the version 2.5 video as well, which will go over a lot of these tuning elements in a, in a little bit of a different manner. And so uh, maybe they'll make more sense to you. Um, thanks for watching. Hope that helps. Bye.